Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, hey, I'm going to do just the old school book haul. Books that I found over the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, I, I've been slowing down a little bit because I, I've actually I've been trying to concentrate on going through my death pile and making some really good progress on that. But hey, I, I hadn't put myself on total restriction. Uh, so I still found some cool stuff. So hey, uh, I appreciate the view. I look forward to your comments and, uh, you know, what, what you're finding that's good. And, uh, hey, uh, as always, uh, subscribe. We'll keep doing this and, uh, you know, see what happens. So, with that, let's jump right in. So, yeah, you know, uh, a few weeks ago I put a video out about my, my death pile because I had, you know, all of these, uh, I had a couple of estate sales that in a library books uh, sale, 25 cent sale, that I got like 300 items in the course of like eight days, right? So I was just totally slammed. And so I hadn't put myself on complete restriction, but I have kind of cut back a little bit because I'm like, I've got to get stuff listed. And, you know, I'm, I'm selling stuff too, but it's, it's you know, you know how it is when you get behind it. Just, it's just a grind. But that said, I still have to get out there and find some cool stuff and keep that inventory going. Plus, I just enjoy it. It's a good, you know, good stress, pressure, relief just to go and look look at cool books so uh here's some things i found uh the last couple of weeks um a couple of thrift stores uh, i actually hadn't been to my library store in like in like two weeks so these are all just like thrift store finds so the first one is uh the god emperor of dune okay dune is still hot and this is one of the 80s uh, paperbacks what's interesting about this this is a third print so this just came out like in 83 or 84 I've got sold comps from like a 14th print uh, from 1986 for like 25 bucks. I've got all over the place for 18 to 24 bucks. So this one is in decent condition. You know, it's not like mint. It's got a little bit of a stain there, but this should still bring 15 to 20 bucks being a third print. So, you know, keep looking for Dune, not just Dune, but all the subsequent, uh, you know, God Emperor, Dune Messiah, all those. And if they're in book club editions, Definitely first editions, but even really good paperbacks, the, the early ones, they're, they're still hot. So this one's a good find. I got it for, for a dollar. Uh, here's another one that's kind of interesting, this uh, trying toys. And I'm not, you know, I think it's these metal toys. And I'm not really, you know, familiar with this, but there's a book on their, their history. And I have um, list comps on this for 30 bucks. I don't have soul comps on it. I think 30 is too high. I think I'll be able to get you know, maybe 12, 15 for it. But again, I paid, um, I think I paid 50 cents for this one. So it's a good, good one. All right. Then, uh, you know, one of the genres that I like are music books. And this one is, uh, the easy Broadway fake book. And, you know, I'm not a musician. I wish I was, but of whatever meager talents I have being a musician is I can't carry it tune in the shower, as they say, I uh, can't play, you know, I tried play, taking guitar one time and I can mechanically reproduce chords and do things, but maybe I just didn't stick with it long enough, but I, I just, I just, I was, you know, robot playing, right? So anyway, but I said, what's a fake book? Well, from what I understand, it's, it's, it's basically the music, like basic chorus and maybe the basic chords and melody that you don't have to learn like the whole song, but you can learn enough of it to get that basic melody and, and chorus so that you can fake it out. So I think they call them, uh, sometimes they're called real books or, or like front sheets and things. But this one is, um, you know, I've got the 10 to $15 comps on this. So it's kind of fun. Something I didn't note either. Okay, this is actually one I paid four bucks for. You can read there. It's about this um, report on the Revenue Cutter Bear and the Overland Expedition. Now it is a ex library, but what's interesting about it is see, I actually paid six bucks for this one, but it's for the relief of the whales in the Arctic. And this is an 1899 book. So this book is like 120 years old. Uh, I actually have sold comps on this on eBay for 50 bucks. So I thought it was cool, but then when I saw the, the condition it's in for 120 years old, and I had sold comps for 50 bucks, even paying six bucks for it, it's pretty cool. And it's got, um, I don't know if it's got some cool, uh, you know, boat and ship pictures, like, you know, here's the, you know, kind of, you see, you know, of the boat back, you know, 120 years ago. So this will be a good one, should sell pretty good. All right, here's one, uh, Peppy Land. Okay, this is, um, 
I paid a, a, a dollar dollar fifty for this. This one thrift store is a dollar fifty for hardbacks. Um, and I have I may gift this to a friend. Um, but you know, Peppy Lands, you know, the Peppy Van Winkle, you know, bourbon. Um the book's only twelve dollars. I think if you want a bottle of Peppy, you're gonna pay a thousand for it. So anyway, that's kind of good. Judicial Enigma. Um, you know, paid a buck for this. It's you know, this uh, first Justice Harlan. Uh, it's a ten, twelve dollar book. So there's another kind of boating book. This uh, kind of cool coasting schooner, the four masted. It's not a big, um, uh, huge profit book. I paid a buck for it. It goes in that um, comps all over the place, ten to forty bucks, and um, I think it's probably more like the ten to fifteen range. So. All right, talk about genres. Here's something that I've found that sells. It's it's in the automotive uh, section, you know, or automotive kind of genre, transportation, I guess, generically, but cars. But things on tire suspension and handling. A lot of this stuff on suspension and handling, it gets into racing and people setting up cars in a certain way, you know, to have, you know, performance suspension. And these books sell really good. Um, this one is probably like 40 bucks. I have um, the list comps. 60 70 80 dollars but it's more gonna be a little more like a 40 dollar book so that's kind of a genre whenever i see something on the suspension handling performance type driving it's an easy one just look it up it's usually worth what you're gonna pay for it um all right guide to buying your mgb i love these cars i don't know that i would fit in this but um i always love them i guess if, if i were gonna buy one i think i would need to make sure i sit down in it and really make sure I fit. I'm thinking I don't fit in an MGB, but uh, I always love the, the look for them. Anything British cars, again, it's kind of a genre. Uh, this one is uh, sold comp, 16 to 18 bucks. Got it for a dollar, that's good. Okay, now here's one, I paid for a buck. This was actually, I stopped by my Salvation Army. Um, I was going to Costco, their Salvation Army real close. I hadn't been there in a while because it doesn't, they just don't keep books there. And I actually pulled a couple. This one, this hydrogen bonding, that's got a, you know, person's name on the leaf edge, but I don't have soul comps for it, but on Amazon, the cheapest one on this one is 95 bucks, 95 and up. So even if I can get 40 or 50 bucks for it, that's good. The thing is with textbooks, uh, science books, you know, especially vintage ones, there's some of them that are really good, but then what happens is they can get dated. And so it's, it can be real hit or miss. You can find something that has really good comps, or basically that they're kind of worthless, you know, relatively speaking, right? Five to 10 bucks tops and or less. And it just really, sometimes I find when the authors are from like um, MIT, Caltech, Stanford, it, it, those are, are typically like seminal works and they, they really are good. This one, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good sale. It may have a longer tail, I don't know. I think if I price it right, it'll sell good. But that, that's the issue with textbooks, you really have to, um, you know, in science books, you, unless you really know, you know, have a background in that and really know, you kind of have to really look them up on a case by case basis because they can be, um, they can be dated. All right. So here's one I thought would be worth more. This, uh, worthy of record about this, uh, Lafayette Turner and Civil War records, but it's, uh, it's only like a $10 book, but I liked it. So I got it. Now here's, uh, I've sold this one before the Avengers. It's an episode guide, uh, 10 to 15 bucks. And it's, it's cool, you know, it's got, you know, all the episodes, it's got photos, I like it. All right, Dairy Goats, for pleasure and for, for profit. I actually have like $30 comps on this, um, so it's a, I got it for a buck. Um, really, should be a good find. Whenever I see goat stuff, I laugh because um, I grew up, my mom raised pygmy goats just for pets. And those things, if you don't know or not, they have a fainting gene. And if you scare them, go up to them and they get scared, they get all stiff and they just fall over. Well, her goat pen was on a sloped lot and the poor goats, if something startled them, they'd get stiff and they would flip over. But since the goat pen was on the lot, they would just keep flipping. So, you know, <laughs> it was entertaining. I mean, it didn't do it for fun, like cow tipping or something, but it was, <laughs> it was pretty funny to watch the, they didn't get hurt. They, that's just what they did. It's just in their genes. So, um, all right, the Atomic Nucleus. This was the other one I pulled out of the Salvation Army. Just tell the same guy. Uh, this is more like a $20 book. Then uh, a couple more. One, this uh, Divining Victory, this Air Power. Um, I've got um, $15 comps on this one. 
know, what's interesting is if you live in an area where there's um, a military base, a lot of times what you'll see is a lot of the officers have to go to these air colleges or combat schools and they have to take these courses. So a lot of times these, you'll find these books or you'll see it where somebody has, you know, all the books they took for whatever. Sometimes these are like, they have to go somewhere like for a year and they do one of these, these war colleges or combat colleges or air colleges for like a year and they have to take these courses and you'll see that after time they turn them in. So there's still, uh, you can find some good topics. This is, uh, you know, going over the Israeli Hezbollah War 2006. And then finally, here's one that I actually have sold comps for 30 bucks on, this Cross Swords. It's uh, about Pakistan, it's army and internal wars in Pakistan. So uh, Oxford Press, you know, always look for those. Like I said the other day on a short, it's always a good clue for me, but I have $30 comps, sold comps on this one. So that's it, old school, old school book hauls. Uh, I'm not hitting it too hard, but I'm still pulling good stuff. So that's, that's a good thing. So um, anyway, hey, appreciate the views again. I hope you're finding awesome stuff. Remember, you see cool, you buy cool. And uh, look forward to your comments. Subscribe, and we'll just keep doing it. See ya. Bye.